Welcome back to another episode of Athlete POV. We're sitting down with Taylor Theory, freshman guard, uh, Ohio State University women's basketball. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. You know, our season just ended, unfortunately, a little earlier than we may have wanted. But um, I think we're all just getting our bodies ready for next year in the summer. Right, yeah, and we'll hit on that right away. What do you think you'll take away most from this past year's tournament? Um, definitely just understanding like how far we made it and what it took to get there. Um, obviously, that's not where we wanted to end. So we're just going to keep that in mind and just work harder um, over the summer especially and just make sure our team bonding and just making sure that we're all working hard so we can make it further next year. Do you think the feelings that you and your team felt that, that night versus Texas, do you think that will give you extra motivation for the off season going forward? Oh, for sure. Um, we were all just obviously disappointed, and I think that will help us stay motivated and work hard um, for next season. So now another question about just March Madness in general. What is traveling like? Because I know everyone go, every team goes to like different locations, like not normally where you'd usually travel for games. What's like traveling like with your team? Um, it's definitely fun, but it's also can be a little bit draining. You know, traveling all the time, missing school, adjusting to different time zones than what you're used mm. to. So it's there's good and bad things to it, but um, overall, I really enjoyed it. You guys were in, I think, Washington State, right? Yes. Yeah, so that was, uh, what, well, not Ohio time, Central time. Um, so, yeah, definitely some change there. But now going to a little bit about yourself now, taking, like, a deep dive to your background, you have a pretty athletic family. Could you tell me about it, and how do you think your parents and your siblings have, you know, pushed you? Yeah, I definitely have the good genes. Um, my mom played volleyball at Oklahoma University, University of Oklahoma. My dad played in the NFL for nine years. So that's definitely been helpful for what I'm able to do athletically, uh, especially in basketball. And um, I definitely use that to my advantage uh, in the sport, and it's just been helpful and it's been fun. Right, and now also being from the Chicago area, uh, big city atmosphere, do you, is there any like additional pressure you think that's put on you to maybe perform well? Oh yeah, definitely for sure. Um, yeah, I would say there's a lot of pressure there, but obviously just working hard and making sure that um, I'm getting good reps in, getting uh, good practice in, it definitely helps, especially under pressure. Do you ever look up to, like, a Chicago sports icon that you just, like, that's your person that you want to be like? Yeah, um, I would definitely say more so somebody from Cleveland, more than Chicago, but, um, mm -hmm. yeah, there's definitely people I look up to that uh, I want to resemble. When I talk, when I think about like Cleveland basketball, I think of LeBron James when he brought, won that championship. Were, are you Cavs fans, and were you excited about that moment? Oh yes, for sure. Um, my family and I watch the NBA a lot, and since we're from Cleveland, <laughs> we definitely um, root for Cleveland Cavaliers. And so when they won, um, that was definitely amazing. <laughs> we've been sitting in Cleveland. I'm sure that they were just as excited as we were. But yeah, definitely that was a team that we definitely. We're supporting. Um, now, going to your overall athletic career, what do you think has been like the biggest highlight so far? Like the most exciting moment for your basketball career this far? Um, definitely just playing college basketball. It's a lot of work, but it's been really exciting. You know, getting playing the Big Ten tournament. Right. First of all, just playing collegiately <laughs> in general. You know, playing against other teams that have amazing players that other people look up to, and seeing like um, uh, well coaches, like well coached coaches. <laughs> Um, that's definitely been fun, but playing in the Big Ten tournament, playing in uh, March Madness, during March Madness in the NCAA mm -hmm. tournament, that's definitely been fun. So I'm looking forward to this next three years. Now I have to get your opinion on this. What is your take or what do you think about the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry? Um, in terms of women's basketball or like in general? Uh, yeah, we can go in terms of women's basketball. Is it like... Yeah, I mean, it's a big rivalry. What do you... <laughs> it is a very big rivalry. Uh, we take it very seriously, obviously. This year didn't go too well, but I think next year we're going to have um, better chances. <laughs> it's still going to be hard, but um, it's definitely something that we take very seriously. We are already have it marked in our cal calendars, so um, we're ready. There you go. Um, so, yeah, so now go a little bit more about yourself now. Was there ever a moment for you where you're like, yeah, like, I know... 
I know I can like play at the next level. Like I know I'm special enough to move on in my career. Yeah, I would definitely say, especially throughout high school, I could see myself playing at the next level. Obviously, the older I got, I got to play with people who are probably just as good as me, even better. So that was definitely an eye-opening experience, just know that people are working just as hard as you are, even harder. But I would definitely say, uh, make my beginning years of high school basketball, I could definitely see myself playing like college basketball. (laughs) Very nice. Was Ohio State always the goal for you? Like, was that your, like, dream school that you, like, were set on throughout high school? Um, It was definitely one of them. There were other schools that I was looking into, but this was definitely a fit for me, the best fit. Uh, Just I felt more at home. I was closer to home, and just the community and the large community that we have here, it's just been fun. I knew this was going to be the right fit for me. If you don't mind, if you don't mind saying, what were some of the other schools that might had that hit that had interest in you in like going to that school? Um, I was looking into Michigan State, and then Cincinnati. Cincinnati was home, well, it was closer to home, mm-hmm. too, but this was obviously closer to me since I'm from Cleveland. But it was definitely, definitely between those two, and then Pitt. But that was also like further away from me, mm-hmm. and then there were other like smaller. Well, I wouldn't say smaller, but other D1 schools that right, I was looking right. into, but the much in the picture compared to the other schools I just mentioned. It's very interesting. Um, so now, no, nobody just gets like uh, you know lucky into your position where you are. No matter how good of genetics you have, hard work is definitely like something you have to have become accustomed to, right? So what yes. I'm trying to get at here is what are some what are some of your healthiest habits you think you picked up over the course of your athletic career this far? And what do you, what is like some staples that like routines that you always might do every single day? Um, definitely getting into the gym as much as possible. Uh, that was something I'm really proud of myself for what I've been consistent at. You know, I missed a lot of things in life, you know, social life and stuff, because I was always putting, like, basketball first. Mm. Well, definitely staying consistent in the gym, uh, making sure that I'm playing against people who are better than me. I made that a goal for me because I know if people are better than me, I can get better on my own moves and playing defense. Mm. So definitely those two are probably the biggest things, just staying consistent and playing against people who are better than me and also watching. For me, I like watching the NBA, so watching players in there who are like really good like Steph Curry, LeBron, mm. Evan Book, I watch them a lot so watching people that are better than me getting consistent reps in the gym and playing against people who are better than me that's definitely something I've been working on. Right and when you say like watching like you know pro athletes that are like bigger names like success really successful people sounds like you know always learning by watching right that's kind of yes, what you're trying to sure. say. <laughs> yeah yes. and then when you said how like uh, you missed out a lot maybe on socializing, that really just reminded me of uh, of Kobe Bryant sort of because like he, I remember watching this interview. I think it was like last week or something, and he just said something like, "Yeah, I missed out on so many things, but you know, I was always wanting to do what I wanted to do, which was you know, like work out, like get better, like reach my goals." So I feel like that's sort of relatable to what uh to what you just said. Yes, for sure. Right. So now, next question here. Uh, what does what the future for Ohio State look like next year? Like, what are some team goals, team expectations, and just the mindset going into next season? Uh, definitely just getting better in the areas that we uh, lacked, I guess, could improve on. Uh, we are definitely losing, losing some great players, a couple seniors, and a couple players are transferring. But I think we're just going to focus on staying as a team and just making sure that we're achieving the goals that we want. And I'm excited to see, like, where we go. Does your coach, like, instill, like, a mantra into you guys, like a, a phrase or quote that you guys live by? That's a tough one. Um, I wouldn't say, like, a quote. I would just say, I guess before games and stuff, he's always saying, before every game, he says to play hard, play together, and play to win. And I think that's something that we do well on focusing at each game we go into. Yeah, that's super interesting because I feel like every team has, like, their own, like, thing they stand by. And, like, that, I guess that's for Ohio State women's basketball. And that's the, uh, the impact that's there. So now a little bit more on the other side of basketball, more of, like, uh, well, not more, like, um, the new thing that came into college sports recently, NIL deals. So we found one with yourself, uh, Fans Meet Idols. What's that about? And is there any other NIL um, deals that you have in place? Um, yes. So, Fans Meet Idol is basically 
they reached out and basically I make a profit for whoever wants like something like a video of me doing a drill, like a dribbling drill. Um, if they want a signed t-shirt or an autograph or little stuff like that, they can reach out to me. I actually am supposed to post on Instagram soon for that so I can reach more people, but just little stuff like that uh, to getting people more involved with me. Yeah, that's definitely, and then, yeah, go on. And then I have NFTs, which are basically like sports cards that have information about me that people can purchase. Um, and then there are other smaller things like interviews that I do, but that's about it. Yeah, it definitely must be so cool to like have you know, like your name and image and likeness to be like something of value that people like, that's in demand for people like to want sort of. Like how does that, how do you deal with like the recognition that you're now accustomed to? No, I think that's really cool, especially like for women's basketball as a whole, for us getting recognized for us, you know, men's right. basketball or like the NBA gets more um, publicity for like what they do than women's basketball. So I think that's a privilege for us. And like for me personally, I think that's really exciting. And I take it as like a challenge to see like, you know, what I can do with mm. my reputation. And I think that's just something I'm looking forward to. Definitely super interesting. And there's so much potential, I think, for NIL in, in general with athletes now. Like you're seeing now high school athletes being recruited based on before they even get to the college like what they can get in nil like guaranteed or whatever by coaches and recruiting so that's really interesting i think for the future of college sports yes so now going off on a lighter topic here um not not even, not even a topic just a question for yourself if you could go to dinner with two people dead or alive who are you going with where are you going and what are you ordering wow um, I would have to go with my favorite player in the NBA and then my favorite player in the WNBA. So, in the NBA would be Steph Curry, and then the WNBA would be Skylar Diggins. Where would we, we would go to eat? Um, I don't have anything in particular, but definitely one. Oh, actually, there's this one place. It's called Uovo in Los Angeles, California. Um... It's more like Italian cuisine, but it's really good. I would go there. I would get um, definitely their pasta. I would say they're Alfredo pasta. But in general, I have no idea where I would go to eat. But that's just one thing that's popping in my head right now. But yeah. You think uh, you think those those superstars? Do you think they would like some pasta? You think that fits in their diet? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> Would you say, like, Italian's your favorite type of food, or, like, is there something else? Yes, I would say Italian. Yeah. Very nice. Now, one of the last things we always ask our athletes, and I think it's super important, um, on a more serious note, if you have any advice to maybe someone going through a tough time, maybe mentally, what, what, what advice would you give to them? Uh, definitely keep pushing through. You know, good things only really happen when you go through adversity or encounter uh, you know something that's hard or a difficult time or adversity so just keep pushing through um keep working hard and just know that people are there supporting you and that there are people who are probably just going through the same hard thing that you're going through or something similar and just to keep uh, pushing through absolutely and i think that's super important for like athletes like yourself to speak out about maybe some mental health concerns because Athletes now, the stereotype is just, you know, hard nose, like, no feelings, like, don't talk about your problems, and I feel like that's definitely a problem that has to change, and it starts with, um, you know, NCAA athletes like yourself, so thank you for, like, saying stuff like that, because it really makes a difference, I think. Yeah, for sure. And now last, and finally, um, who are your role models? Because who really makes Taylor into, you know, like, the strong woman you are today? My role models would definitely have to be my parents. Uh, they're definitely the reason, part of the reason why I'm here today, and they just made sure I uh, had a good work ethic, and make sure that I'm just doing the best I could in my control to get where I am right now, and I think that's helped me, especially continuing my college basketball career. Right, that's that's very cool because a lot, some people don't have like parents that are like one don't have parents that are that athletically inclined, right? So that's definitely some sort of benefit. But as well as like supporting parents, that's very uh, definitely a beneficial factor into your success, and we're seeing that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. 
All right, we want to thank Taylor for coming on. We appreciate her time. Do um, you have anything else you might want to add in? I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And, I mean, we're, of course, looking, to your fu uh, looking forward to next season and, you know, Ohio State's future. So thank you again for your time and have a, rest have a great rest of your day. <laughs> thank you so much. Of course.